5,000 here, 5,100. I got 5,000 twice. Sold. Sold it for $5,000. Thank you guys and girls. Anyway, let's get to it. I'm excited. On 7 million. Just kidding, let's open it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates, it is Thursday morning and it is I, your captain, speaking. I am on my way to an exciting storage. I did a live last week where I told you that by law in California, they must pull projectile dispensers out of a storage unit when they're visible. They must. It's, it's just California law. I don't agree with it. It's just what it is. And we have to live by those rules. They pulled 40 guns out of two of the three units. One of them, there was no rifles pulled out of and... They're auctioning today. The tenant is uh, deceased. The family doesn't want the stuff. They're out of state. They said, we're just gonna let it go. They don't even know if they know what's in there, possibly. But fact is, we're going to look at three units real quick. I'm already gonna be nine minutes late. It's so annoying right now that I have to even, uh, the pressure I'm under because I, the traffic, there was this light back here. Anyway, we're rushing to see these three units. There's three of them. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. I'm trying to buy one. I want one of three at least. I don't think I'm gonna go for three. Beautiful, we arrived safely on time. And the auction hasn't even started yet. It's go season. Like I said, I'm only going for one of the three unless they're cheap and people are just sleeping, but I'm not gonna overpay for three. So I'll gamble on one. It's a game of three card Monty today. Where the rifles are, they sit right there in front of us. Right here. A picture that had them right here. Got 25, 26, 27, 28, 2800 back, yeah, 29. 2900, 3000. Nope, 2900. No, I remember. 3000 anywhere. I got Three grand going once. Three grand going twice. Sewing machine. All right, Scouts Honor. I don't know if that's how you do it. Maybe like this. I forget. It's been a while since I was a Boy Scout. But I wasn't filling those units. They weren't what I came to see. Oh, they're kind of exactly what I came to see because they look just like they did in the photos. But I have to smell it. It's something I feel in a storage unit. That's what's led me to buy every damn near decent storage I ever buy. Is something I feel in my body. I wasn't filling those. The first two had the guns take down. Um, the last one didn't. That was where my money was, but I wasn't feeling it in front of it. It's like, it's like I believe the universe just had them take out all the value in there on accident. It was all right there in the front. That's often how it is. I always tell you guys, there's three ways people load a storage unit. Four ways. They put the good stuff in the front. They put the good stuff in the back. They put the good stuff throughout the entire unit or the fourth, which is the worst. There was no good stuff. This one I'm gonna believe was the good stuff was in the front. Um, with that being said, we're on to the next one. There is a unit there that I was actually more intrigued to see than this one. I've never seen so many cobwebs in a storage unit before. And you know that my three turn-ons include dust, cobwebs, and rat poop, so. Oh, Same person at all in the Two. Huh? Two. I like this one though. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let me get this on. Put a bow on it. Give it to him. Don't stop now. Oh, I'm not getting into pissing matches. Jack, do you have a number on this? Do you have a number on this? I got 11, I got three thousand. Thirty-one. Thirty-two right here. Thirty-one. Four thousand. I got four thousand right here. Give me forty-five hundred. I got four thousand. Forty-five hundred. Four thousand out there. Forty-one. Forty-one. Forty-two. Yeah. And out three. Yeah. Three. Four. Yeah. That's forty-five right there. Forty-six. Yeah. Right here. Forty-six all over the place. Forty-seven. Five. Five thousand. Fifty-one hundred. I got five. Fifty-one hundred. I got five. You go fifty-one hundred. 5000 here, 5100 I got 5000 once, 5000 twice. Sold. Sold it for $5,000. Thank you, guys, and you're open. You're not scared, are you? No. No. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. We came and got what we wanted, Jack. Yeah. You got a lock? Yeah. How do you feel right now? I feel, I feel good. I'm happy. There's 30 years of dust in there. I'm glad you, we're going together. 2,500. I was doing five on my own. I'd be nervous. Yeah. 25. I mean, if we each lost a little bit, it doesn't feel as bad. But That's it's right. a good gamble. Jack and I both wanted this. There's no sense in fighting. We teamed up 2,500 each. I think it's a good gamble. Years of dust. YouTube prep here, guys. How are we going to do it? When you're splitting, you got to think that way. Look at Jack. He's Look at him. Rub the belly for luck. Oh, like Buddha. Watch this, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that right there. <laughs> that is that is locker nuts. That is. It is a small unit. What's intriguing when you look in this unit? First, you see dust. This is I've never seen the level of spider webs in my life in a storage unit. Models. He was building models. That's what I think this wood is for. Balsa wood. Look, there's a train part train wheel you see little junk like books you see possible baseball cards you see old paper you don't know what that is baseball cards paintings grandfather clock seal boxes you see that clock there's paintings there you know a painting could retire us this one's so old you can't even see the art on it no more you see that <laughs> uh, i see some dolls the cash register and shake me because look, there's a Crown Royal bag. You know, people keep their collectibles in there. Hmm. There is no telling what's in here. We're going to have to fine tooth comb everything. And then you got, just kick yeah. that, kick it. Those are not empty. That is solid as a rock. World War II trunks right there. I'm excited, guys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get to it and we're going to make some videos. Any, any words before we get started? It doesn't look, it actually doesn't look like for five grand, it doesn't look like that much, no. but I, I think we're going to be here a while. This one's going to be. There's either a file cabinet or a safe there. You can see a piece of furniture with really? the pad. It's right. Come right here. You I'm can see the corner of it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. I, I was on the, the, uh, the ladder. We're both just kind of in awe right now. We don't even know <laughs> where to begin, what to do. Now? I'm excited because we went through your trunk, which they could see on your channel, and it was very good. I think over two thousand dollars. This one's heavier. Hopefully, we hit the jackpot. Is see, a lot of people get nervous when people buy storage units. They would see these trunks, and they might think someone's getting into it. You've already told the universe that I don't think that way. I think this person had to get something out when they put it in here. That's the way my mind says the things. But anyway, let's get to it. I'm excited. On seven million. Just kidding. Let's open it. Look at, oh, look at these trinkets. Look at these trinkets. Okay. I've Ooh. never seen this one. Some for drafting or something. Uh, yeah. That's uh, an Altender 1666. That We're going to have nothing but things to look up. Here's another one, but it says Comfish Drafting Property of the U.S. Government. Do we have to return that? <laughs> nope. Sorry, Ooh. we called dibs. Ooh. 
I don't know. It's it's that's got to be a hundred bucks minimum for that little set there. Oh, where do we go from here? What which? Oh. This, I like this one. <laughs> Peel off the layers. Ooh, this is gonna be valuable just because this is original. Look at that. Can you imagine cleaning your? That's like cleaning Ooh, your no. toilet with one sheet of toilet paper. Trying to clean your gun. Okay. Okay. You're about to say butt, weren't you? No. What is this? Just, you know, there's something in there. It's an odd shaped pouch. No, it's not something in there. Or it's like part of it, but funny, feels easy. Okay. It was pretty easy to pull that out. Okay, the pocket guide to science. So was he a scientist? Didn't he say a lawyer? Mm-mm. Oh, I didn't see anything. So. Uh, what does his degree say? Uh, oh, Bachelor of Science. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're right on the money. I see military stuff. Stamps? Stamp collection. Yeah. Look at these right here, though. Ooh, another box of cards. Hmm. Honestly, that's money right there. Vintage Singer stuff. New old stock, right? Yeah, new old stock. Very... Peeling off the layers. 7-Up bottle. UCLA Bruins. This is actually probably a pretty... It's good. Yeah. Now, let's get into this. Look at these. John's and Mace Pinnock. Lots. Ooh, this is a... That's silver. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. There's no greening. I'm 99% I'm sure that's silver. And these look kind of like some, some rare metals. Like this one here, I believe is a good one. I've seen this before. But there's two of them. Are they that good? Somebody else. Somebody else's name, not his. We got some arm bars. This is going to be... This is from the World War I. Great War for Civilization. I've never seen this arm bar. These uh, collar tabs. No. Those almost look like German ones. Look at all these pieces. Now we're getting the silver ones, Jack. Yeah. Those are silver right there. It says sterling. Wow. Yeah. There's so many of these things. Dog tags. Those are his. Lots of these. There's a whole gang of these in there. This one looks real nice. These are not just your average little pieces of, of metals that we normally find. Like These are a little more intricate, a little more quality. Mm-hmm. This one's gold. That's Mason, right? Masonic. Mm. It's 14 karat. <laughs> I like Jack's little uh, sinister laugh there when we find yeah. something good. That's the money, money, money laugh. All right, so that's a good little... Ooh, look at this one, too. I've never seen that. that that's, this is actually silver thread. Like, really? It's silver thread. This is a good little pile of metal. I, I speculate a couple hundred bucks right there. Dang. Pirates, if you can. I know some of you are military experts. Please help me out. The infamous Crown Royal bag. I don't know why this is synonymous with collectibles, but it just is. Look at all these patches. Like, where do we begin? Patch. Patch. League champions. Why do we always find bowling pat? Oh, look at this. Air Police. Oh, wow. That's a badge. That's money, right? That's big money. That's what... I mean, I've got a, quite a few people that tell me... This is sterling silver. Let them know if we find badges. Police badges. This one, that's that's well over $100. I'm not going to quote a price, and that doesn't mean we're going to sell it for 100 mm -mm. It's minimum 100 Camel repair kit. What are you, is it repairing your cigarettes? <laughs> for patching rubber articles. Camel, look at you uh. go. The uh. world's smallest clock. Look at that. Wow. This was a good trunk Super so far. Batteries. Some patches, patches. We got California State Champions tight. He was a serious bowler. Bet he was an average 200 plus. Look at that. We got the, the Boy Scouts. Now, this patch here is old. Look at the difference of it. This is like pre war, in my opinion. Whereas these are newer, different divisions and stuff. Air police. I haven't found that patch. That patch right there is probably a hundred bucks. 
don't underestimate patches. When I bought that military unit, the 5300 or whatever, yeah. Matthew gave me like 400 for six patches. Wow. Yeah, I regret selling to him now because he obviously knew what he was buying. And I obviously didn't. Boy Scouts, Richard Keller. Who is? He's got like a Boy Scouts awards. He's an exceptional guy, I think. Very accomplished. He, yes. Look at this. Another. That's a good one because this is like World War II era. Slightly after because we know when he enlisted, but. But he co he collected too, so we don't know. Cool. Look at that! It's a hand playing a trumpet. Mm. I don't want to lose anything. This is a cool hat right here. It's been eaten away. Yeah, the moths liked it. Yeah, I don't know what to do with everything. I'm just gonna take my time and put it back and then restricted information. cool yeah i'm liking this stuff <laughs> just because it's it's all has some value it's not like we're looking at bunches of crap like even these pencils have like some little bit of value seagrams oh what's in here military ration books yep mm, nice war rations united states okay carrying on that's what i was just oohing about here was i've never seen one of these that's the arm badge, right? This is what you would wear like this, and you would it would attach into something there. Oh, I've wow. one of those before. That's super good. And recognition for meritorious. You just said he was a person of merit, right? Yeah, basically. So we have lots more paperwork here. Hold on. We won't bore everybody with just all the twenty twentieth gold filled. That's kind of cool. Yeah, gold filled. I mean, anything gold filled. Gold filled carries the merit of silver, scrap silver, so often underestimated. Ooh, that's a good looking metal here. That's how my bones sound in the morning. <laughs> For military merit, that's a good. That's a good one there. And then we have. Those are metals too. Are they? I think so. Come on, be a gold pocket. I see watch. metal on the label. Oh yeah. Still good. American campaign and European African campaign. This is. Ooh. These are nice too. These are some cool buttons. Like, these aren't like your normal buttons. Look, Roosevelt. So you usually find like vote for Smith. You know? No, we got a. Um, um, uh, I'm digging this trunk. I don't know who that is. We got a Nixon button, the FDR button. This is a good lot of these. Heck yeah. World's smallest button. I'm trying to get to this one because it looks like gold. USA. It says sterling so it's like gold colored sterling huh. we got it's random yeah a donkey nice i'm digging this and a small piece of silver all right this is getting good yeah it really is another one asadia pacific and ooh, world war ii that's a good one. Mm. Nice. Maybe he was in World War II. What is in here? Watch parts. All right. He could have been a career military guy. Not that ID we found just was in his later in his career too. Ooh. Catch up. That's kind of cool. Is it postcards? No, it's a little book, but that is kind of cool. <laughs> the prayer front. Novena. Cool little stuff, religious type things. Yeah, there's a collector market for that too. Especially Why? vintage. I'm just gonna throw these away, Jack. Actually, you know what? Someone, if we do that, someone's gonna be like, oh, you I know, know, vintage cigarette packs. You never know, right? Yeah. The world's smallest box on three, two, one. Ha <laughs> ha, clickbait. <laughs> Please be gold. Something goes in there. This one's sterling. Something goes in this. What is it? U.S. patent. 
doesn't have a maker on it, but like a clock or something or uh -huh. sunglasses. Look at that a rose. A rose is still a rose by any other name. Oh, here we go. Rosary. This is just insane. So many good little things. I'm trying not move too quick because I just want to jump to the next thing. This is just the metal container. You keep your special memories in it. Oh, it's got some Chinese writing on the bottom. Then. Mm. That makes it more intriguing. We've been a scroll in there before. Second, well, second smallest box on three, two, one. Click bait again. Sorry, guys. Dang. Okay. I'll give you a I'll give you a hundred bucks. You smoke one of those right now. Are they cigarettes? They are cigarettes. Look at that lucky strikes. Ribbons for things. School day memory. Let's see what kind of memories he was rocking. Ooh. Hmm. Nineteen thirty. Interesting little book there. For sure. He was on drugs. Benadryl. How funny. Yeah, that's back when they prescribed Benadryl. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. That's cute. Paper, ephemera. Ooh, tin types. Tin types are cool. Yeah. They don't offer them a stream value, but the, it's just the little things that add up. World's great. I'm gonna give this to you, Jack. Oh, thanks. Yeah. World's greatest dad. I found a lot of them in that last locker, but. Swiss Army Knife, the original one. Frank Miller. What is this? This looks religious, doesn't it? No? Yeah. Or like a Boy Scouts or something. Masonic or Catholic? Mm. I don't know. There's only a few sectors that wear those things, so. Postcard. That's a nice one because it's Ford. Roberto Clemente dies in plane crash. Man. Shout out to. Ooh, what's that? Almost like a guy What What is those at? Okay, so we're getting down to the we're getting down to the nitty gritty on the top of this, but guess what we have to go through still? The bottom. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Hankies. So There's a lot of little vintage paperwork. We'll go through that more heavily at another time. Now it's time to get to the bottom of things. All that time is just the top, huh? Yeah. The top tray. We haven't got to the bottom yet. It's a really nice trunk. I'm excited because it's just a lot of smalls, you know, like. I like when there's money <laughs> and you're stuck in here. Okay, so we ready to see it? You want to see if it's on? It looks good. Ooh. Okay, first thing is an award. Oh, he retired. He said, you know what? I'm done, guys. Mm. Okay. I don't blame you. Every, you got to get to that point at some point. Like, property of the U.S. Air Force. Damn it, they're going to want this back. Oh. Oh. That's neat. He was a philanthropist? No. What do they call that? A, a stamp philatic? I don't know. I think it's philatic, maybe. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know nothing about those. Um, mil the government, we're going to give this back to you. Mm -hmm. More profits. The government can always Paper. come to our live auctions. That'd be tight. I'm storage auction pirate, government. Look at this. Stamps. 
They're hinged though. Is that Germany? Yeah. Looks like it. Could be wrong. Alright, got a bunch of just stuff. A lot of if this, you know what? I'm, I'm, just, I'm getting the point that I think this is stamps all in here. Really? I just get you what I see so far as a stamp collection. This looks interesting. There's old postcards. I've seen that same postcard before. Ooh, those are unused stamps. I like the little blocks. Little blocks for stamps per thing, I think is called a block. Nice. I don't want to touch them because my hands are slightly skanky right now. <laughs> More stamps, this is good. They call him Flipper, Flipper. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I see some postcards in there. Yes. Postcards are nice. Syracuse, New York, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. Cincinnati, Ohio. Chicago. If this is upside down, guys, all you have to do is rotate your head right now. One of these could have $100 bills in them. No, not that one. That's a lot, huh? Oh, yeah, there's a lot in here. This is a couple live auctions right here. Nice. Nice. That's, what are those? These? Film strips or... Oh, they're first stamps. Okay, yeah. Mm. Dude, oh, look at that crocodile. Look, got some cool. Look at that one. These are good ones. Yeah. Those are original photo ones. What I'm liking is this. That's neat. It's a postcard. Is it really? That's yeah. cool. Um, trying to like work my way down to the bottom of one of these. Nice. Stamp set. Okay. There's a lot of stamps in here. Stamps, stamps, stamps. Christmas cards. 1939. More stamps. Honestly, this is like what I expect to be inside every trunk that I find. They never are full of stuff like this. Very, very seldom. They are when you buy with me. I guess so. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. That's a cool lifestyle pick. Literally. Just, it's just days and days of stamps and paper. Look. That's great, though. Yeah. I mean, we do There's have stamp a... collectors that go to the auctions, right? I believe I mean... so. You know who was? Uh, Brian Oaks, Haiti Hunter. He uh -huh. used to go to stamps. just all sorts of stamps i have some stamp buyers but i don't no offense to my stamp buyers but they want a good deal they sure. like they want too good of a deal mm -hmm. and i'm always afraid that they're not telling me where my million dollar stamp is and that scares me do we have anything lurking underneath Ooh, see down there more photos black and whites are they burying somebody? Chicken fighting? What is that? Oh, it's chicken fighting. Look at this, some ugly chickens. Wow. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Hmm. Some interesting ones, too. Yeah, these are. Something military. There's a bar. There's a whole bunch of them. They're just stuffed for days down here. I don't want to... That looks pretty interesting. Stamp album. Oh, Michael, you're messing up the paperwork. Look at all these postcards. That's good. These are good ones, too. I mean... Yeah, there's just so much there's no way for us to like show the entirety of this trunk but it's pretty much all really good like really good ephemera mm -hmm. saint matthias Ooh, little uh, wine stamp labels very nice yeah is that a passport i don't know we got some huh. car papers we got a bunch more of those little stamp things. More postcards. I mean, this is, That's this fantastic. is pretty wicked. 
Like these are good ones in my eyes. Yeah, I think so too. They got the right, the, like that. It's me and my two kids. I'm just kidding. <laughs> shout out to you, Michael and Michaela. I love you. Don't say I never shout you out in my videos. Christmas card. Did you know, you see the Salt Princess putting her videos back out again? Yeah, I told her I hadn't watched it yet, but I'm gonna. I'm glad to see her finally jumping back into it. Me too. I wish these my are, kids would do it. These are interesting too. Stationary, yeah, that's super it's cool. It's not just re regular, sh there's so many things it's here. Military. Huh. This guy had a good, uh, a good eye for collecting. He, he collected some cool stuff. Um, it's just more of all of this stuff. Letters. Great postcards. That's where we should be right now. Look at that. This is wild, Jack. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm glad you decided to team up on this one. Mm, me too. And I thought about this on the, the way here, and you were like, I don't know if I want to team up, and I'm thinking, man, I'm going to feel bad if I have to outfit Jack on this. Well, you would have, because I didn't have that much money. Well, I was going to. Like, that was my goal. If he didn't want to team up, I was like, I'm going to have to outbid him. And I didn't want to. I appreciate that. I like splitting the risk, too. These are good. 1964 exhibition. Brand new. Nice. I think I'm getting the feeling that this is basically the philatic. I think that's the right word. Philatetic. It's all stuff like that. What, what are these? These are different. Hmm. I have no idea. I have no idea. It's just all paperwork. But that's that's a good. I think there's a, a lot of money in this trunk here. I think there's we're well into almost two thousand bucks. I think so too, because I know what each little batch brings, and there's lots of little batches in here. I know that's cool. Yeah, and my kids complain about the way they have to live. Kids, what if you lived in this hut? Huh. I like my kids to see stuff like that. Now, now the kids be getting all, uh, you know, tight. Life is so tough. Oh man, my kids are like, it's 72 in the house. Yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll these are. Get some stuff. I'll get it. Those are earlier, like 1800s, you know? And stamps, the, the, the USA is good when they're earlier. China is really hot stamps right now. Really? So, yeah. That's like the most hot stamps right now is China. So I always go right to China. And then I go to, oh, that's very small. So we only have a few, but those are old ones though. And then uh, Germany does all right sometimes, but that's a good stamp book. I think this is my call. Guys, I'm excited. We're gonna, I'm, that's just the whole, all I could do for this video is that one trunk right there. Jack went through another trunk. I think we're damn near in our money back in the two trunks. I really do. In my honest opinion, between this ephemera and the collectibles we found in that and the military items, this is damn near our money back. At least four grand in my eyes. We got this whole unit to go through. I'm a sneak peeker. You know, I'm always sneak peeking. I can't wait to see in that green box. It's probably ammo. You can see things. We're, we're just a smidget in here. Somewhere back here, I think, is a violin case I saw because I hopped up on top and I looked. That lens right there seems like it's big money to me. I see baseball car, but I just, I see a lot of potential. And I'm excited to get through this unit. There's so much potential. Anyway, don't forget to check out Locker Nuts. That's Jack right here. He has several videos coming out. He has Locker Nuts. Um, and don't forget to hit the like button, the share button, subscribe, and say something pretty like, I love dust spider webs. Real quick, we're gonna add this to the end of the video because I, we both wanna see now. We actually bought two storages and I think the other one is over here, R. I think it's on the last row. We bought a second storage unit together. I think we paid 1800 on this one. It's very intriguing. We're about to go take a look. This one's really well wrapped, still covered in dust. I'm not sure if Jack liked the price per se, but I was gonna buy it. I just, it's something about it intrigued me. Sneak peek of an $1,800 storage. <laughs> it, used to, it used to be that would be crazy, 1800 Yeah, but that's like every day nowadays. Going. That's like the average. Look at this. 
what was nice about this one really well you know what i didn't, I didn't notice see that yeah. somebody tried to open this one thing up nothing really looks disturbed but that i didn't notice that before neither did i but i didn't look super duper close either hard to tell if there's a lot of boxes look at the dust guys you know where the most common place to find a black widow is in a storage unit in the door on the other side of it really? yeah I'll just take a couple steps back empty cushions All right, we'll tape for this a bit. Uh, I don't think so Jack personally I believe this one's gonna have gold in it really yeah a jewelry box I just it's good furniture it is. Look at the quality of the stuff. The couch looks nice. It's dusty, obviously. The mattresses are nice. There's furniture in there. I think there's gold in this unit. I want to crack one box open just to see what we're looking at. Sure. I say we look. Bottom? Sure. Bottom up. See, that's what I like to see. Shoe boxes. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. What kind of shoes? Well, Calto. I found cash in shoe boxes in my 1800 locker, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Used. It's all right. Nice. Macy's tags. I think they're nice. They're uh, memory foam. They're Skechers. This is some Skechers brand new. Let's nice. Like, 30 bucks. Right. What size are those? Uh, seven. It's just too big for a little woman. She's a six. That's too bad. She's a ten in my eyes, but on a shoe size, she's a six. Brand new sketches. Nice. Size. I'm, I'm, I have strong feelings of this this unit. Uh, strong feelings. Uh, worry? N no, I've, I've strong good feelings about this being a good unit. We're done for the day. Pirates, I had to sneak. I didn't look in there. I was saving the momentum as well, but there was these, I saw these cases. I saw one and there was three cases. There's that one, that one, and that one. I shook them. There is definitely something in there. We're gonna find out. I need you guys right now to pray on the words, Antonio Stradivarius.